Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for all the live class. Thank you for the meeting, even from the beginning, even up until this time. We give you praise. Thank you for always showing up. Thank you for always, you know, giving us reasons, you know, to be better, even as Christian, giving us reasons to do well. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you. We thank you, our Father. We thank you. We thank you for this, you know, um, topic that we are taking right now concerning the spirit, the soul, and the body. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the light that you have shed already. Thank you for, you know, our pastor, Pastor Bukumi, that you have also used for us even during this season. We give you praise. Thank you, oh God, for feeding us that we do not lack food even in this house. Lord, we thank you for that which you are going to do again tonight, even in our midst again, how you are going to consolidate on everything that has been said. Ah, Lord, I pray, oh God, that tonight you anoint my tongue, you anoint my soul, you anoint my spirit, you anoint my heart, oh God. Put spirit inside of me. And to these words that will be spoken tonight, they will not be mere words. They will be your words. The words to be an ever-changing words that will change us and will move us forward so that we might prosper even in your things, oh God. Thank you. You'll give us sight. You'll give us understanding. You'll use this medium to impact wisdom of creation even in our soul. Thank you, our Father. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Awesome, awesome. Good, good evening, everyone. And um, sure, we are all happy to be here. I want to believe Maybe some of us have traveled to Nigeria for Believers Convention. And if so, if you have not, I'm sure probably some will still be leaving soon. But nonetheless, we continue life meeting today. I think today will, will be probably the last one for this but this week, I don't think we'll have life meeting next week because of, I don't know anyways, let me not say that still, but I'll confirm from Pastor Jeff and um, the other pastors. Let me not just put it out there. But yes, so I'm very sure that I have a feeling that we'd all be soaked into you know, Believers Convention for next week. And so I'm sure we're all looking forward to the Believers Convention 2024. And um, I'm sure we all know the team now. Who can tell us the team in this meeting? So I'll try. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the Son of God is come. I believe. Son of this calm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone wants to try again? Any other person? We tried. Right. Tried. Really tried. Any other person wants to ask? You got it right, anyways. But I just wanted to. to to test if you know we could see if other people want to say see, see so the son of God is coming from the book of John second John oh sorry first John 5 verse 20 and that did declare it the last time um, on the grand finale and yeah so we are looking forward to the understanding that the son of God is come to give us and that the understanding of him, I mean, said that we may know him that is true, him that is true, and 
that we are in him. That is true. Even his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. So I believe it's going to be a revelation of, you know, the son of God and the, you know, true God, which is eternal life. You know, that is just, I, I see that this year, like something great is about to happen. Now understanding will launch us into the precepts and even the lines of eternal life by the grace of God. I, I want to believe that another door in the spirit is about to open. And um, it, would, it would be nice that we are all committed to it. All right, God will help us in Jesus' name to be committed during this um, Believer's Convention so that we might take all of the blessings that will be coming to us in that holy feasts and holy conversation. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure we are all looking forward to it. So let's go to our today's manual. Um, before I go, really, you know, I wasn't here for a while, so I'm still trying to get into the flow, right? And I just want to, I know that um, I listened to part of the message today of the one that Pastor Kumi has been teaching, right? And I also spoke to him concerning it, but I also want to hear from us. There's anyone that I just want to do a short, like a quick recap on what Pastor thought last week because I had the one of the one of um, upper week. So this last week, yes, it would be nice to to just hear someone tell us what you learned or what really blessed you from the last meeting. Anybody, please. Anyone? Or have we all forgotten? No, sir, I'll try. Thank you, Akan. Uh, all right. Um, so Pastor Bukumi was continuing to explain more about the spirit in terms of that man is a spirit and the spirit of the Lord searched all the inward parts of the belly, that that spirit is a candle and is mm -hmm. a light. And the spirit is meant to illuminate the soul and enlighten the soul. That the soul is meant to get life. And that life is righteousness. And righteousness can only be found in the spirit and not in the soul. Because the Holy Spirit dwells in the spirit. So the spirit, the Holy Spirit and the spirit, they are pals. In fact, they are brothers. They walk hand in hand. But the soul has not yet come to that realization of mm -hmm. the of the Holy Ghost. Because when, when the Lord died, he was resurrected. That us having the Holy Spirit in our spirit is a high cost. It's a high cost. And is mm -hmm. a and is a high possession, purchase possession, I believe. And it's very costly. And that act is very costly. That the spirit is meant is meant to lead the soul. And how it leads the soul is by giving the soul righteousness. For it, mm. in righteousness, you say in the Holy Spirit, in the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy in the Holy Ghost. Mm. So in that mm. Holy Spirit, there's righteousness, there's mm. peace, and there's joy. That mm. the soul of itself has nothing because the soul has been led astray by another spirit, mm. which is the devil. So yes, dumb idols. So, Dumb idols. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. So the soul of, of itself can produce nothing mm. because the soul has been led over time. He said mm. by over time, we have become children of wrath, children of disobedience. I believe it's efficient. Ben. So so the soul has already learned another program. Mm. So it's for God to come, to come and now teach. We teach the soul by the Holy Spirit to mm. learn righteousness. Mm. So the how it is the Holy Spirit and the Spirit 
The spirit is an inner man. The soul is the inward man. And yes, the body is the outward, is the outward man. Yes. So it's the inner man, the Holy Spirit, and the spirit is the inner, inner man. So if the innermost man, so he's the hidden man, that sometimes our soul, our soul tends to blow the Holy Spirit to be like loud and always mm -hmm. like, especially when I'm speaking in tongues, when there's mm -hmm. movement or ministry of the Holy Spirit, we tend to see the Holy Spirit as always being loud. But the Holy Spirit is hidden, he's inner, and he's quiet. Mm -hmm. He's quiet. Mm -hmm. Those, when we see it as loud, it's because it's the expression of our soul. Our soul mm -hmm. just expresses spirit in different ways. But the Holy Spirit is hidden and calm. So, and so, Lord, help me all. So, uh, what trying, I believe, sir. Yes, Thank you, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, I think that's why I've been able, what really blessed me that, okay. that the Holy Spirit is to give you life, that mm -hmm. is to just birth you life and is to give you righteousness, that is to give your soul righteousness and is to give you life. That there's, there's, and he also, um, Pastor Bukimi also said that there will be a point that your Holy Spirit is Christ, but your soul is not Christ. But yeah. your Holy Spirit bread with them to your spirit because it's Christ. But then there will be a time that your soul will now come to that light and will be Christ like. That your soul will now come into that spirit like form. Then there will be a time that also God will now want to be a, be a habitation in men be a habitation I man that that is that there'll be a time that the lord will the, the lord will now want to quicken or god will quicken the man to the point that we are how we will journey and god will now dwell in man that spirit soul and body for the, i believe he said in the scripture that the habitation of god is now in is now with man i believe i don't mm. really know yeah so it's just that's why i got sir i tried sir <laughs> we really tried oh. uh, thank yes, you sir. so much I'm grateful yes, sir. Yes, thank sir. you for giving me that short recap yes, sir. No yeah, so, so we could see that um, Pastor really told us um, taught us about the spirit and the things we need to know about the spirit and I, I think um, it did so much justice to that because I listened to the first one and then the second one he took his time to open up, you know, the person of the Holy Spirit or the person of the Spirit. And he also divided the Holy Spirit from our recreated spirit, which is a human spirit, right, that was recreated. And that's the new man, right? So the new man is where the Holy Spirit is residing in which is in our spirit. And um, I think that was already taught. And I think it's also a very good, it's also very good to go, you know, back to some of those tapes and listen to them again. You know, some tapes for it to become your own. Some of this, for the spirit of those words, to, to, for the word of those, spirit of those words to be yours you have to listen to them sometimes like five to six seven eight nine ten if not 20 times all right so i was still sharing with my wife yesterday that if you don't go back to some of those things you will not really benefit from them right well let's go on to spirit as an attitude Right, so there is spirit as an attitude, right? So we would look at that from our manual. I said, often time, praise God, often time, hallelujah, um, often times we have, we have seen the Bible referred to, to heart dispositions as spirits, right? For example, number one is contrite spirit and broken spirit, right? So we'd look at Psalm 51, verse 17, and Isaiah 62, 66, verse 2, and Isaiah 57, verse 15. Let's see Psalm 51, verse 7.
Sure, Wesley's not around today. It's likely he's in Nigeria. Okay, so the sacrifices of God are of a contrite. It says sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, right? A broken and a contrite heart, O oh God. Thou wilt, let's read on verse 18. Thou wilt do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, but thou the wall, build thou the wall of Jerusalem. So let's go back to 17. We see in 17 that the sacrifices of God is of a broken spirit. So the broken spirit here is clear that is not, is more of an attitude, is the expression you know, of the heart, you know, the heart states, right? That, that's what he's talking about. It's a broken and a contrite heart, you know, so he now further expansions what that broken spirit is, you know, brokenness of the heart. So the spirit there is the heart. Say, so, oh God. So the expression of the spirit, when it's a, a broken spirit, a broken spirit is a broken and a contrite heart. Are you with me? So a broken spirit, what did I say a broken spirit is? Is a, is a what? A broken and a contrite heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who is going to be my audience today? I need someone to be my audience so that we can relate. Mm. Pastor already advised us in the last meeting that some of us should not be passive in this meeting. Now you notice that it's Wesley, Daniel, and some of you that just recap. Like some of us just come here to, to do some other things, to just turn on the DC and then be doing some other things. Is there anyone who want to help me? Okay. I'll, I'll follow you, sir. God bless you, sir. Daniel. Okay. So we could say that. So I was saying something about a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, right? So a broken spirit is a brokenness, is a kind of brokenness of the heart, which forms an attitude of the heart, or is a walking of the Holy Ghost, right? Of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Right. So it's an expression and called a broken art or brokenness is some kind of meekness. These are the kind of people God can teach his word. If you see Isaiah 66, verse 2, let's see it's Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66. Mm -hmm. Damn, you want to read for me so that. Oh, oh. <laughs> it says, uh, For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, said the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. You see, this man, this is the man that God looks at, someone that trembleth at his word. That tremblet at my word is as a result of their kind of heart, right? What you call poor and of a contrite spirit, right? That poor spirit or poor spirit is also poor heart. There is the same thing, right? So it's an is a is a is a state. Yes, That's yes. a state of the man's heart, right? So that man sees yes. not he doesn't have. Is wretch, he sees his own wretchedness, right? And what makes it to be like that is the walking of the spirit. And every one of us must get to this point for God to look on us. Are you following me? Yes, sir. He says, and all this, he says, to this man, but to this man, so I've, I've made things, but I don't look at them. But what I want to really look at is a man. To this man, will I look? Will I look? So God will not start to look 
at a man, if the man is not poor and of a contrite spirit. So the essence of the Holy Ghost in our spirit, and that spirit is talking about here, is the spirit of the mind, which is the heart. Right? Sure. Because your mind too has the spirit dimension of it. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. So the spirit dimension of it is the attitudinal side of it. So meaning that flesh to has an expression, which is an attitude of life, right? So when you see flesh proceeding, you can see the proceed is not contrite, it's proud, yes, it's, you know, arrogant. All those things are, are the walking of flesh is a spiritual walk also. Yes, that the devil did in the children of disobedience. That's why they can resist God. You know, so some people can begin to resist God when, you know, they begin to take in this world. You know, and, you know, when you say, Efarukitisa, when you say things like, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, Say the love of the Father, right, is not in Him, right. So you could see that there is the world. It's a love, not the world, That's right. Not. So the world here is is the is the is a lot of things, right, that Satan put together. Right, his, his glory is a lot of things, you know, wisdom, understanding, a whole lot of things for, for, uh, for, for, I can call it for betting, for engagement, for life, for livelihood. Yes. Right, so there are things of this world. He said that love not the world, the world. Neither the things that are in the world. So there, are, there is the world and the things that are in the world. But the things that are in the world is what make up the world. Really. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So did I say, what did I say make up the world? The things that are in the world. Right. So it's so he said, if any man loved the world, the love of the father is not in him. Right. If you look at the second, uh, the, the verse sixteen, you see, said that for all that is in the world, did you see that? So, so yes, yeah, there's all that is in the world, all that is in the world. So all that is in the world is what makes up the world, right? Mm -hmm. So is the three things in the world: say so lusts of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life. Like. So one of the things that we begin to see a heart that is not broken. Right, you see the properties of loss. Hmm. Right, you see the properties of loss within that soul, and then the pride. You know, so those things it's it's actually put God off. He doesn't look at such things, right? So because anything flesh, it puts God off. You could see in the book of in the book of Noah, let me say it like that, Genesis, right? Where they were talking about the testimony of Noah. The first thing the Bible talks about was that when God saw flesh, he said, he too, he also. You see the way he talked about man. He also has become flesh, right? He said, and the Lord said, my spirit, you see that, shall not always strive with man. Right, for he also, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty. Mm -hmm. So God had to judge even his days on earth. Mm -hmm. right? His days was shortened because of that program called flesh. It's a program that God doesn't, it cannot last. That's what God is saying. It cannot yes. allow this program to run too much. You know, I have to stop it quickly, right? So, but you know that when man fell in Genesis, they didn't say he has become flesh, right? Mm -hmm. So you could see that 
one of the things as at that time, his heart has, is not is very close to contriteness and brokenness. So God will reach him quickly, break his heart quickly, and then move him towards towards you know himself. You know, and amen. Am I making some some sense? Yes. yes sir. So, okay, so we could understand this broken spirit, contrite heart. Or contrite spirit and a broken spirit. So let's go back to that. Isaiah 66 verse 2. I like it. Isaiah 66 verse 2. He said, to this man will I look. But to this man, that has the part B. So, but to this man will I look. Even to him. That is poor. And a, and a contrite spirit. So let's see the verse three of it. it says, he that um, killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. Mm -hmm. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. Mm -hmm. He that burneth incense as if he blessed an idol. Yea, mm -hmm. they have chosen their own ways and they are so delighted in their abominations so so you see something um bro dami you could see here that people like to quickly offer to god yes sir right yes, sir. what god doesn't really is interested in right yes sir. So, yes and that's how we are right so we want to appease god in some other ways, uh, right? And God is saying, these things are not what, these are not my own way. It's just like you're slaying a man if you kill an ox. It's the same. I don't, it doesn't really matter before me, right? Because yes. there is a way that I've chosen. And the way is not your own way. Yes. Right? yes. So they are so delighted in their abomination. So we want to continue in our own way. But we want to appease God in another way. Right. And that's where the old thing, you get what I'm trying to say now? Yes, right. sir. If you don't look at this, you see that what God is requiring or the requirement of God is the man gone gone. Yes. Yes. The heart of the man. That's what God is requesting for. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart is what, so meaning that all that, that does this thing, all the people that do this thing, kill bulls, oxes, and all of those things. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Are you yes, following sir. me? They are not getting God's attention. What God is saying in verse 3 is that you don't get my attention, Barry. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Jesus was talking about those who brought tithe of cumin and anise and mint, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Right, he said, but they, they they despise weightier matters of the law. The law. Right. So God is not interested in all of those your tithes, your earnings, and comings, and you know. So I, I thank God for the part that Pastor Bukumi taught us. Right. I even want to celebrate all of our pastor, Pastor Bukumi. I celebrate you, sir, and your wife. Thank you so much for for blessing us in these past two weeks and also all your givings you know to to the brethren and you know how you lay down your life every time and die you know on the behalf of every one of us so that we can live god will continue to bless you sir he loves you so much pastor and also my pastor pastor jeff and sister essay Thank you so much, Pastor Jeff, for all that you do, for where you stand, for how God has beaten you for our sake. You know, Lord will continue to increase you and keep you and your wife and your family for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My darling brother, Pastor Ulufemi, and Antibemi, uh, Antibemi, I call her Mama Games. That's my mama. All right. Thank you so much for where you stand, Sama, and all that you do for us. You are so, you are dear, 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 darling brother to me, sir. I love you so much. But 
are forgiving you for one of the offense that you you offended me. You are going to Nigeria without me. No problem. I will let down slide this year. If you try it next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Well, enjoy Nigeria. I'll send some boys to you. Right. I'll tell them to stop you when you are when you want to enter uh when you want to enter Faith Plaza. See, they should collect Ule from your hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every every willy from the gates. I'll send Pastor Arab. <laughs> you do. I love you so much, sir. And yeah, I'll see you very, very soon. No matter where you go, you are coming back to me. Amen. 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 Praise God. And I also want to appreciate all the brethren, all the people putting everything together. Dami. Down, Daniel, all of you guys, Wesley, all of you guys that media and amazing people. Your sacrifice is an offering, and the Lord can smell it. The Lord will continue to be. And all of us that we are here laboring together, staying to listen to, so that we can chain together. You see, coming together as a community, I would say you should not forsake the gathering of one another is a thing in the spirit that gathering is a memorial in the spirit and it helps all the brethren to grow because you know when we bring ourselves to meeting we are doing something for ourselves and for the other people because jesus made a statement in the book of hebrews 2 he said he was going to sing his own song in the midst of his brethren he didn't say to one person, he said, in the midst of the church, his brethren, will I sing my song? So he will not be able to say, say, saying, I will declare my name. You see that, my name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church, will I sing? So God will not be able to sing, he will not be able to sound if we don't come together. And I appreciate everyone coming together to hear the sound of Jesus, to hear the the song of Jesus. May we hear indeed. He said, either has an ear, it will give us ears to hear. And we hear, and then we will change. We will hear that declaration of his name so that we can bear that name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. So we can carry on now. And an example, so we could see, so what, what were, were we, where were we, dummy? So we just take it cool, right? We enjoy it. Yes, sir. Helping us. So we're at that contrite spirit. Contrite. Yes, sir. Broken out. So we could see verse four. Let's see verse four now. It says, I also will uh, choose their delusions yes. and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I speak, they did not hear, but mm -hmm. they did evil before mine eyes and mm -hmm. chose that in which I delighted not. So you could see why they don't do not choose the things that God delights not is because of their heart. That's right. right. Why they cannot hear him. Say they did not hear. When I speak, right? So because they, they see God as somebody outside their life, right? <laughs> God wants to be part of our life, not, he wants to be involved with our life. Nice. I like to tell people that, you know, all those small, small mumblings, prayers, all those things, it's very important. When you wake up, you open your Bible, you want to see what God will say. It's a very good thing want to sleep you still try to look at your bible again even if you are not looking if you are not reading through sometimes it's like that I you are not able to read sometimes you have that grace you just read read but make sure that you know your eyes is case that this thing god what are you saying you know those small small mumblings like god help me god come into this mouth god change me you know it's just a way of keeping him you understand, you know, talking to the Holy Ghost, praying in the Spirit under your breath, all those things are very good. 
God wants to be part of our life. He doesn't want to be outside our life. That will also help you to be a chaste person. You know, you will be conscious mm -hmm. of presence. Yes, right? so. Be conscious that somebody is with you. You are talking to someone. You are meditating on the word. You are thinking around it. It will help you. You will not misbehave. You know, you know, when you want to misbehave, there will always be a check. You know, there's just that decorum around you because you are having a communion steady. Yes. Right? And that would also help. I know Pastor also mentioned talk about we um hearing the Holy Ghost. You know, he mentioned it the last time that we should be pals with the Holy Spirit. And that's very key. Mm -hmm. Right. So continually just you know, he said, whatsoever things are true. Can you give me that scripture? Say, whatsoever things are, you know, of, of good report. You know, he said, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue. Philippians 4. He says, he says you should think on this. He said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true. So you things that are true are things that are, that are of the vine, right? They are they are true things, you know. They are they are things that true means pure, right? Yes, things so. that are pure, right? He even still mention pure again, but that true, this purity is in the order of true. When they say something is true, is it is really is it is correct. Yes, sir. Right. That is the correct, that's the standard for perfection. Right. Mm -hmm. when, when they begin to use true God, they are telling you that that's the real one. That's the perfect one, the most excellent one. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. yes. So when you hear the things that are true, so they are like um, Philippians, this Philippians one also talks about we've been able to approve the things which are Excellent. Let's see. It's Philippians 1 verse, I think, verse 8. Let's see that place. You know, whereby I was talking about, yeah, 110. Okay, it says, but let's read the previous verses so that we can understand what is there. Verse 9. He said, and I pray, yeah, verse 9 is good. Okay, sir. And, I, and this I pray, right, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. Sorry, let, I, I want to read it quickly so that we can go back to where we are. Verse 10 now says that ye may approve things that are things that are excellent are things that are true. Say so that ye may be sincere. Or that you call this sincere is being sincere, right? Mm -hmm. So say so as in sin is seared from you. Right, wow. without and without offense till the day of Christ. So let's go back to that Philippians 4 verse. Eight. So you now see for me to be sincere, I need to think on he said he said, whatsoever things are true, right? These are the things that will purify me, that will mm -hmm. sincere me, that will sear me from sin, that will remove my wickedness, right? That will judge my iniquities. Uh, so, but I, I also need to be part of it. I must engage it. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. It's not like, oh, okay. No. So I have to think. That thing is meditation. There must be time whereby you stay and sail on it again. You say, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, just, whatsoever things mm -hmm. are pure, say, whatsoever things are lovely, say, whatsoever things are what of good report right so all of these things we can divide it one after the other but i'll leave you say if there be any virtue so if for you to come to virtue huh. right you and if there be any praise you know the bible was talking about we have been ordained you know unto praise yes the scripture puts it in the book of ephesians i think ephesians one he was talking about the reason why he actually to the praise of his grace, uh, unto the praise, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, in whom, in whom also we have an, uh, obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him that worketh in all, in worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Verses twelve, he says that we should be to the praise of his glory. That's what I will first. So we should be. You might not be. 
right? Is a is a should, right? It should be, right? Right. So God will help us to be these things. But if we have to be these things, we can pray it all the time. But yes, there's a key to becoming this praise. So if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, let's go back there. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise. Think on this thing, meaning that a man can become praise. You know, they name people praise. Say, oh, yes. praise. That guy's name is praise, but he will not arrive at praise. He might be bearing praise, but not be praise. Mm. Jesus. You get that. Did you, yes. did you, did you get that. So you can we can bear praise and not be praise. Somebody can even be wisdom and not be wise. <laughs> you understand? You can be wisdom. Your name can be wisdom, but you are foolish. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Uh -huh. Because what makes you foolish is a composition. Everything about your life is wrong. Yes. That's what makes you foolish. Right? So a, a wise man is someone that mm -hmm. guides his affairs in discretion. Yes. Right? So that wise man is someone that is, you know, is very, is very meticulous. And the Bible calls it, there's a particular thing, scripture called that man. Call it. I want to remember pre. Is it pre? There's one. I want to, if I remember, I'll say. But you see, those other man is very cautious. There's a way he deals. Right. Amen. 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 So you see this. If there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on these things. Right. So let's go back to that Iowa Isaiah 66 now. I hope I'm. I'm teaching well tonight. Yes, okay, sir. So for, yes, sir. for all those things that my hands have made, all these things, all those things at my hand, at my hand. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. Yeah. I want to meet up with Pastor Bukumi. I was telling him that the way you went uh, was also awesome. <laughs> pa, 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 and he doesn't believe me. He <laughs> tell me that, no, that, boy, well, Pastor, I'm just telling you, I want to measure up tonight, right? As I hope I'm trying, sir. <laughs> okay, I know your answer, sir. Pastor, <laughs> <laughs> please, now have faith. Have faith in me and have faith also in God. <laughs> ah, Pastor, I esteem you better, sir. Ah, fa, fa. You're an excellent one. Most excellent. Amen. 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 So even, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. I like, I like this so much. So you could see that one of the things that Holy Ghost must bring our spirits, you know, that heart too. It must yes. be so much that our heart will be poor. When they say poor, our heart will always assume a state. Of not know of not having anything. Yes, sir. Right. You know, you should never come to that place whereby you feel you are now almighty, eh, all okay. sufficient. Yes, sir. Do you understand? There is yes. no such thing. Even the man that is seated on the throne, the Bible says, is as one that was slain. He's already he's slain, even on the throne. Yes, eh. you see him as somebody that is slain. How much more you? How will you? Where will you want to say you came from? If you don't look like the one that died for you, do you understand? Yes, sir. So where do you where where is your own? Where did you emerge from? Meaning that we should check you where. If we see pride, if we see loss, if we see all those things in you, then it means that works still plenty. Yes, sir. Do you understand? So that's one of the things the spirits, the first place of when you say, ah, I start to walk with God, or this one said they didn't say you have start to walk with God. Say to this man, will I look right? He didn't say, yeah, and then I will start to walk with you. You understand? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but you know, right? So there is a contriteness that will make God work with you. Yes, but the first is, is the first, there is an assumption. As, uh, um, uh, is there, as, um, there is a place we must as our soul must assume. That assume that I'm talking about arrive is what I meant, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> We must arrive at that place of poor and a contrite spirit. 
you must come to that place that you must come to that place whereby you tell yourself every time, I don't know anything. I don't have anything. I'm not, I'm not yet sufficient. Right. <laughs> Just like Philippians. Let's see Philippians 3. You see Paul saying that, that I may be, I may apprehend as I am apprehended of him. You know that kind of a thing. Let's see it now. Philippians 3. That I may know him. You see the way he's just, he said, not as though I already attained, like I've not done, and I did, I did it well already perfect. But I, I this, is a, this is an apostle. Right. He's a great apostle. But see the way, this is a contrite art man. Yes. Sir. This man is not an ordinary man. He said, if that I may apprehend, with all the revelation that this man has written, he's hey. still talking like this. Wow. Right. We, we get more rev. We don't cut the old. Ah. We don't, <laughs> you know, it's not like, you see, I'm not even saying don't preach. Don't talk about what God is doing in your life. I'm saying that it's a way you are carrying yourself. You understand? You just... Yes, it's like by the time you hang on your cloth, finish. It's because of that, your revelation, your ghetto is tantamount to 40 scriptures. <laughs> you know that kind of a thing, you know. If some people call you brother, you are angry. You see, you see that kind of thing, you say they should call me pastor. <laughs> if you understand, you cannot take some, you know, you cannot take that somebody call you by your name. It's a way you just adjust your body. Hey, hello, hello, dummy. Mm. Mm. Something just sound inside a guitar. Mm -mm. Do you understand? But you are saying hey, yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, <laughs> well dummy, you are not like that. I know you are different. Amen, amen. Oh. amen. <laughs> you know, all of us have been like that. You know, because of small revelation, you just feel, you know. Some some the the, the 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 pastors or the pastoral owners when they are when they are introducing everybody and they are not calling your name, the <laughs> dear they are just feeling like when that shall they call my name? Call my name now. If you don't call my name, and I like God, you know, is that time if God wants to help you very well, they will not just remember you. So all you just need to do is just say, Father, I thank you that they didn't remember me. Thank you, Lord. You understand that kind of a time. You move on. Yes, Some people, if they didn't remember them, they will just disconnect from the message for the next 30 minutes. Ah, They can't connect. And a lot of things have gone. The key that they brought, they've, they've given it, they've shared it around. You didn't have key. So all true, <laughs> you were just there, like trying to connect. <laughs> when God will have mercy on you, maybe one prophecy will just come out. I will also give you the key. I'm giving you the key, and I'll give everyone the key. Then I say, tell, Amen. Amen. That's not small, small, small point. Some people will now leave the mess and say, Sorry, sir. Who do you remember? I don't really understand. It's because they didn't celebrate you, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Right. You know, as 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 funny as that may be. These are true states of our hearts. Yes, sir. You know, here and there in different facets, right? Sure. You know, it might be in different places, different time and all of that. But the Lord will help us, you know, to come to that place whereby we continually see ourselves as nothing. Amen. So that Amen. we can truly be something. Amen. You know. Amen. God will really help us. You know, he said, he said, he that is of a poor and of a country. You know, that poverty, when you see poor people, the way they even talk themselves down, self, when I, I have some guys in my area where I used to live, and when they see me, self, and I'm just talking to them that, ah, even me too, I'm not, ah, Rabbi, my father, I don't be compare yourself with us. You're not a different person. <laughs> you know where we stand, though, nothing, nothing, but you know, some of us never had chops this morning. No cigar, no cigar. You know, they just the boys just they hate you for street saver. I beg, make something drop. And that was <laughs> what that man, that woman, that was a gentilic woman that came to collect from Jesus. And Jesus said that he would not give, you know, the children's bread to swine yes, or to sir. dogs. 
the woman said, is that's a poor person. <laughs> if it was a rich guy, he would vex and go. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe we saw the rich young girl now. The guy yep. carries the yep. down, vex and go. But this one said, I know they go anywhere, sir. But, but even, even dogs, they chop crumbs. Yes. From table. As in, are you be a rich person? You will help me, sir. Those are the attitude of a contrite heart, of a poor and of a contrite heart. You hear the way they say, say, tremble it at my word. Baba, talk, make me do all right. Do you understand? They, these contrite heart people are those people that they don't hurry out of meeting. They don't think of any other thing because they know that that's what will save them. They're not the one that when pastor is taking long, then now they complain. You know those kind of people, you know? <laughs> they are not talking what they've talked. Everywhere is scattered in the spirit. Everywhere, there was a scatter everywhere. They, they break bottle in the spirit. <laughs> okay? Break bottle for your head. Bah, bah. Everything the pastor is saying towards the end of this message, to land his message, not allowing him to land. <laughs> He's the one that is scattering everywhere. Waiting to happen. Yeah, one go. Something waiting to say. Wait, ah, wait this one they talk. He's Kai. not, not Kai. trembling. Kai. He's not contrite. He's a rich guy. You understand? Yes, and sir. all the things that the guy is shouting, I want to go and do, I want to do, and I steal the things of this world. The Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Because there's nothing you are trying to go and the life that you have is God that gives you. They want it for you. Are everywhere, you are scattering everywhere. As they are looking at you in the spirit, they are seeing a real boy. You know that kind of thing, I just shout. That's a sick soul. Yes, sir. But when they when they start to play, um, what is it called now? Uh, maybe praise and worship. All those, you know, there is a, there is the song that are raining online now. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. As in, and the two dozen gangs, gangs, gangs. Three, four, five. Six. Ah, you see, it's the one that is dancing the most everywhere, scatter everywhere. He can give such offering, kill ox, kill this one. But when the word that they say you should tremble and starts. You all start to sleep. Some people will just take position to sleep. You know that kind of a thing. As yes. after, uh, you know, after the dance, everything, they all scatter everywhere. I go just calm down. Everyone go to talk, go to sleep. Instead of trembling, he's sleeping at the word. They sleep at my word. Those are the kind of people that fall down from up like you think. They will not fall down. And then, Amen. Uh, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Please don't mind me. I don't know this kind of anointing. I just rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying you, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> but you know, amen. It's just amen. it just come like that. Sometimes it happens, right? So Isaiah, let's see. Let's continue with Isaiah. So verses verses six, five. Let's see that, please. I can't just leave this place. I want to leave what I've just seen. Something is also keeping me down. Let's go. So verse 5 says, Hear the word of the Lord. Did you see he that? that tremble tremble at, his at his word. You see, he didn't speak to those that are not trembling. No. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the people that he's speaking to are those that are ready to hear him. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. So your brethren. Say so your brethren that hated you. Mm -hmm. That cast you out for my name's sake. For my said, name's sake. Hmm, said, mm -hmm. Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. You see that. He yes, said, said, He said, That cast you out of for my name's sake. Said, Let the Lord be glorified. Mm -hmm. But he shall appear to your own joy, and they shall be ashamed. So the season of your appearance, are you following me? Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Many will be ashamed in the days of your appearance. Yes. Now, the reason is because you allow the Lord to break you. <laughs> and that breaking is everything together. It's all the package. It's a program. You understand? You know, yes. it's like yes. our life is regimented like a soldier. Monday, life meeting, life class. Wednesday, life meeting. Saturday, yes. life meeting. Sunday, yes. Saskatoon, life meeting. Yeah, this one, if you turn on to Revelation Hour, Saturday, you know, all those things just continue. You know, yes. I'm living with church in the morning. As you are leaving, something, there's another message dropping. Just dropping, dropping. You just like there's backlog. You're trying to catch up. And then you are doing that and that and that. You don't really have time. You have to do your own thing. 
So some people just look at you and tell you that, <laughs> guy, a pastor you want be. As a so to say you na pastor you want be. What do you they do? What do you they do now? You know you won't get any life. As a what do what do you they do? What do you they do with your life? Any small thing I will go talk. You they talk. We talk Bible before you talk two things. You don't quote scripture. <laughs> If we know that Bible, maybe you calm down. But you see, they don't know that they, there is a tread in them for the Lord. Hmm. You see all those things. You don't know that there is something. And there they, they can be even people are missed us that persecute us. Uh, yes, the sir. others, I just say, you, they press too much. Calm down. No, they press. <laughs> Nobody should tell anybody in our midst that don't press. What is that? Yes, Do you understand? It should not be our own statements. Our press, oh, my brother, and they follow you. Yes, Do you understand? Yes, anyway, we don't press, go. We go press together. That's how, that's the attitude of the spirit. I'm just trying to show us attitude of the spirit. It's just like people that are money conscious. Hmm. Nobody they talk, say, make you know, try to make money. You know? Even when you are doing normal conversation, you understand? Somebody they do cyber security. Say, ah, I want my money go company. So <laughs> you, know, you are just talking general talk. You say, ah, I want co pay Nigeria Limited. You know those kind of stuff. You know, ah, <laughs> money must complete. Oh, this one, ah, I must make it with this. Thing. You know, so that's their conversation. And nobody will say in their midst that co oh, pay. So you two you should say that spirits <laughs> should be complete. Yes, sir. It should become every time it should be part of your conversation. You should not feel anyhow to discuss that way. It's like it should be comfortable. We should be yes, comfortable sir. in engagement uh, of the spirit. Yes, sir. Right. It's an attitude. Tremble at my word. The Bible says, but it shall when it shall appear, but it shall appear to your glory or to your joy. I like that. So the appearance of the Lord is to our joy. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And they shall be ashamed. They shall be ashamed. I pray that our brethren will not be ashamed, though, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You should still love, you know, that God will help all of us, even as we meet people. In our journey, Lord will help them to Same. come into these things. Amen. Let's just see verse 6 and then maybe we would leave this place. Okay, verse 6 says, A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Wow. Let's leave it. Let's just go to um, our manual. He said, An, an example of this is humble spirit. Let's see Isaiah 57, verse 15. Isaiah 57, verse 15. Uh, it says, um, For the earth, the high and lofty one mm -hmm. that inhabited eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite, contrite one. one. So you see what, so revival will not happen if you are not humble in spirit. That humble in spirit is poor in spirit, right? Yes, so sir. revival of the heart and revival of the spirit, right, will not happen. That revival here is, are you following me? Yes, sir. So you could see that there is one humble, there is one contrite and humble, then before the revival come. Yes, sir. Right. If we see, let's see, I think Isaiah 61, either 60 or 61, is there where the Bible was talking about Jesus, the ministry of Jesus, that is to the meek. Right. Let's see. It. Isaiah 61, okay, yes, this 61. So the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. 
So the meat here is something. He said, he that he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. So the broken hearted are those who are broken heart of the broken heart. Yes, sir. Broken hearted here is not somebody that maybe they jilted the person, you know, maybe, you know, or serve and breakfast. It's not serve breakfast. Yeah, okay? this is not that kind of broken heart. Yes, sir. Right. So the broken heart here is a work of the spirit. So that Holy Ghost that they gave us has a work that he will do first. That's what the, the Bible called the first works. Right. That yes, first sir. work is the work of the Holy Ghost. This work of the Holy Ghost is to prepare the way for the Lord to come. Yes, right. We can see it in the book of Malachi 3. They call him the messenger of the covenant. He said, I will send before me my messenger. Then he will prepare the way for me. Right. Okay, so behold, I will send my messenger. He shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. So this Lord is the Lord that will now come to preach to them that are meek. So the way yes. preparation is to make them contrite and broken heart. Are you wow. following? Yes. yes. Is to make that place ready for the Lord. Yes, that sir. They are seeking to come into the temple. And yes, then he now begins to walk. The Bible call him that he would, let's, let's read verses two of this Malachi. He said, but who shall abide the day of his coming? Right. And who shall stand <clears throat> when he appeared? For he is like a refiner's fire and then a fuller. So then he will start to walk his own walk. Let's go back to, he said, and he would, he would sit, he shall sit as a refiner's and a purifier of the silver. Did you see that? So when you say bind up the broken hearted, you know, proclaim liberty to them that are lost. All those things that he's doing, he's walking. So let's see it here. So bind up the broken liberty to them that are captive, to the captive, and open up the prison, the prison to them that are bound. Right? Mm -hmm. Because the soul, you see, the soul must assume a state that I need help yes, for sir. the Lord to be able to help the soul. Yes, sir. There is nobody that will feel sufficient of himself that Jesus will come and help. Yes, sir. Do you understand? The hell? So he said, the spirit and the bride will have to cry. Say, come, oh, Maranatha. You see that thing? You need that, that cry. There must be a cry. He said, he said, the spirit that is in us, cry it in us. Abba, you know, you must call your dad. Yes, sir. If you don't call him to come, you are not a seeker. If you are not crying, if something is not panting, like what Paul, you see the way David was writing Psalms, is that heart cry. You know, I like that song. My soul thirsts for you this day. Oh my God. You know that cry. I will serve you all my days. You have given me more than my eyes can say. Rescue me. You don't just cry. You know, another says, say, as the dare panted after the water brute. So my soul. So your soul will not get to that point of saying, of crying, of, you know, so my soul long get after. You see, that? that's my soul. My soul there is the work that the Holy Ghost or the Spirit has done to make that soul humble. That humble is poor. Yes, sir. Right. Those yes. are the people that Jesus called blessed. Say, blessed are the are the are the poor in heart. Right. He said, how did he put it? Let's see it. What blessed are the poor, Matthew 5. In spirit, that spirit there is also heart. But yes, is the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom of heaven is the rich kingdom. Yes, that's sir. where they lock riches. Don't forget that they said. When they were talking about, he said, to an inheritance, undefined, uncorruptible, undefined, that faded not away, reserved for us in where? In heaven. So this kingdom of heaven is where they reserve. Yes, in heaven for you. That's where they reserve inheritance. Are you following me? So yes, inheritance sir. is what that poor soul is crying for. Yes, sir. I inheritance me. A joy, a joy, a joy. You see that a joy, a joy, that cry. The the your Lord, whom you seek, you will be hearing where he's seated. Right? Yes, there, any soul that is crying like that, 
eh, is calling his Lord, right? And the Lord will be hearing because it's those that seek me and seek me with all their hearts. But you can't get there if the Holy Ghost doesn't make you contrite heart and then broken spirit. Are we blessed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May everyone do this work in us. Amen. 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 You know, it's not by sheer will. The Bible said, not by might, not by power, not by might. It's not by, you see the Holy Ghost that they gave to us. The Holy Ghost. I like the way Pastor Larry sang, you are the Holy Ghost. Hey, sing, sing to me. You are the glory ghost. <laughs> As a, mm. He's the ghost of glory. Into glory. Mm. They speak us mm. into glory. Right. Mm. That's all right. right. That glory. There is a glory that honestly, damn it, I don't know that glory. Kai. There's no way. All this, so I'm teaching it. I'm talking about glory. It's something that my mind still is limited. So, so many things are limiting us here. Yes, sir. Right. So many limitations, you know. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> you know, and but if the Holy Ghost walk in us, by the time he finish, if he beats that pain, Isaiah 57, let's see it. Isaiah 57, verse 17, right? Uh, verse 15, sorry. Yes, we did again. I like that scripture. It is for thus said the high and lofty one that in that eternity, whose name is holy, mm -hmm. I dwell in the high and holy place mm -hmm. with him also that is of a contrite and humble, and humble spirit. spirit. So you see the one who did that high and lofty one dwells with. Yes, sir. Right. This mm -hmm. is those who he dwells with. Those are his company. That's where he company. He wants to see contriteness and yes, then humbleness of the spirit. Yes, right. He said to do what? The reason why I come in their midst is to do two things, to revive them. That revival is what they call talk about, about the purifier and the refiner of <laughs> what? Right. Of silver. And what? Of silver. Right. So you can see that that silver there. That silver is this first First contrite and humble. That's the silver. Yes, sir. Right. And then he now turns, he now revives it. That revival is that he now purified further to be turned mm. to gold. Yes, sir. Can we pray in the spirit for you? I just I just feel like praying in the spirit. Tefini Atafando, Ejabarata, Bakasa, Semet of Beneka Church, anywhere you are. Anywhere you are right now, just pray in the spirit. Something is in the atmosphere. Heaven is doing something. I sense in my spirit that there is something happening right now in the spirit. I want yes. to, every one of us to connect to that thing that the Lord is bringing down. I'm hearing in my spirit, I'm bringing down abilities. I'm bringing down grace. I'm giving it out. I'm dispersing it tonight. Over Shut you, up. over your company, Escajanjo, Esesimando, Ferrano, Shedato, and the more Perado, Bosch, Neba, Asese, Ejana Mao, Sesumianta, Major Joke, Apacaba, Osho Shodo, Esho Shodo, Eshishibogo, Eshashimogo, Eshenedumogo, Esisim Bogato, and Jejeno, and Jejana, Ashatogano, Etonia Sumiata. Foroma, a forima John, a forima Jejen, a sesembo cono, fenatemiki, enja doveno, a poro bebo, enja jajamo, a canadama, a sesamano, a genamagama, a gama doveneme, a fenamo shioto, a phonomia tomioto, a phonomia tomioto, a phonomimo momo fiotomino, a shasomio nomo, a phoniato fimipu pekio for no momo, a phonomimo, a phonimo. The Fionomimomo, the Fonomimo, the Fifinimomo, the Fakimo for Fomono, the Fofimimome, the Fimimono, the Fomimono, the Fomimono, fear for me, mono, a fall for me, fall for my fear for four for four near the bono, a fear for no for fono, 
for fifty or for forty or for forty or for normal. I for some for your mom, for no, we are for your mom, for my 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 mom, Amen. Amen. I hope we all prayed. I hope we all connected. You know, so what heaven is doing right now. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, awesome. Let's continue. So Proverbs 16, verses 19. Let's see it. Proverbs 16, verse 19. Uh, it says, um, Better it is be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to mm -hmm. divide the spoil with the proud with the proud so let's go back to that Isaiah 57 verse 15 um uncle dami can you just sing it for us i think there is a song around this 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 um the verse yes. you know that song you know that yes. okay uh, is a Holy, holy one, you separated. Holy, holy one, you separated. I am lofty one in eternity. I am lofty one in eternity. I am holy places your dwelling. I am holy places your dwelling. You dwell with the contrite and the humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and the heart of the contrite ones. Holy, holy one, you're separated. Mm, sing, holy, holy one, you're separated. Holy, holy one, you're separated. High and lofty one in eternity. High and lofty one in eternity. High and holy place is your dwelling. High and holy place is your dwelling. You dwell with the contrite and the humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and the heart of the contrite ones. Holy, holy one, you're separated. If only I can understand, you know. If, if only I can comprehend. Apprehend your glory, the comprehension of your mercy. We are in him that is true. And even in the Son, Jesus Christ, the true God and eternal life. We will be holy like you. If only we can understand. Only I can understand. Only we can comprehend. Only I can comprehend. Comprehend your glory. The comprehension of your mercy. We are in him that is true. And even in the Son, Jesus Christ. The true God and eternal life who will be holy like holy, mm -hmm. holy one, you separate. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Ayamasa, Meshasime, Messi, Akatiba, Ejena Kasoa, Meteniata, Messi, Etiano Mojo, Entamate, Esisiato, Periana Gigi, Aiskatito Man Tofina, Eporoniate. As Katima has seen mercy, Fini has seen mercy. I see mercy. I see mercy. Okay, see mercy. I can see mercy. We can see mercy. I see the mercy. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Pastor, do you have it, sir? Stop coming. Mm -hmm. Pastor. Oh, anyone have it? Pastor is not available. Okay, let's just continue. There's a pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor B. Awesome. I had this, but I don't have it, sir. Sir? I had this, but I don't have it, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, <clears throat> no problem. Um, if or if there is anyone who have it, it's Pastor Tommy Wada. I think I, I saw him this. But if you don't, yeah, it would be nice to hear. Oh, Pastor Femi. Okay, let's go. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see um Second Corinthians four verse thirteen. It says um we have in the same spirit of faith according faith. As it is written. I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. So this is another attitude of the spirit, called the spirit of faith, right? He said, we have in the same spirit of faith. So the spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have we spoken, is a spirit, is, is of their heart. Yes, right. So it's not of is is something is a walk, right? So that's yeah. why you see their conversation. They they are their conversation is in is rooted. So you see, sorry to use this analogy, but is is not hundred percent. If you take away the spirit of of Paul, for example, is so who behave like his spirits. You understand that? You understand that? Yes, sir. So meaning that his soul has inherited properties that is in his spirit. Right. So that's why they can calibrate their spirit, their soul as spirits for function. Yes, sir. For life. Yes, sir. Right. So another attitude of the spirit is another spirit. Or a different spirit. Spirit. Right. Numbers 14 24 spoke about us, the Joshua and Caleb. Right. Yes. That the Bible says they have another sister. But my servant Caleb, read yeah. it. it says, but my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him and spirit. followed me fully, him would I bring into the land wherein he went, and his seed shall possess it. So you could see that said he followed the and he had followed and had followed me fully. So you know him will I bring. So you could see that you know um, another spirit is attitude. Yes, sir. Is an attitude, yeah. Right, but this yes, attitude is born out of leading. Yes, sir. Out of obedience. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what gave them another spirit. Huh. Right, let's continue with our manner. I think I um, have liberty to move on now. Yeah. So spirit used used as in as in heart. The Bible times without number uses this heart as spirit. Instance are uh, anguish of the spirit of spirit. Adding, adding spirits. That what adding spirit is adding heart. Yes, sir. Spirit of the humble that we read now, right? And also faithful spirits. Right. Let's see Proverbs 11, verse 13. Uh, it says, uh, A tail bearer revealed secrets. But he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Concealeth the matter. Right. So 
So it's it sounds to me like, you know, um, love that covered multitude of sin, <laughs> right? So it's a walk of the spirit that the walk of the spirit that makes attitude that move an attitude into the soul of a believer. Yes, sir. Right, that a a true Christian, and I'm not when I say true Christian, I mean using it from the Bible, the way we have been taught, right? I'm not saying anyone is not a true Christian. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm just using like true God, true. Yeah. Uh, so a true believer is someone who have allowed, you know, faith as in that spirit, the spirit, the Holy Ghost, the obedience, awesome. right? move, you know, faithfulness, when you call him a, a, a faithful, a merciful, and a faithful high priest, you know, that kind of statement. Awesome. So what makes him faithful is that a true Christian doesn't see anything, any any he said he can be he said Jesus can be touched by the feelings of our infirmity. You cannot see Jesus gossip about you. Do you understand? Is 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 full of faith concerning you that you make if Jesus meets you and talk about you to yourself, you'll be wondering me. You will be looking back and checking who is he talking about. Do you understand? Yes. When Jesus appeared to who did he appear to? He has appeared to several people, but when if you you, you know you see his appearance, you see when he talk to people, you see them call them men of valor. He's a mighty man of valor. <laughs> That's how they regard. You understand? Even when the Lord send an angel to to his own people, you, you get on and then he tell them. So you see that attitude of um, what was it called? Of Zachariah. Right in the when he was doing in the other of Abia, right, and then he was offering, right. What did the Bible talk to about him? Let's see it now. Luke one, I guess. Okay. I'm not taking us there. Okay. Yeah, verse 6. Read for me, sir. So it says, There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia, and his mm -hmm. wife was the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. And they were both now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according mm -hmm. to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Uh, it says, and the whole multitude of people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear, fear fell upon him. But mm -hmm. the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John, and thou mm -hmm. shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall mm -hmm. neither shall drink neither wine nor strong drink and he shall be filled with the holy ghost even from his mother's womb and many of the children of israel shall he turn to the lord their god and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of elias to turn yeah. their fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the lord so but you can see that you know um this angel was the way he said, fear not. You see the way they honor them, right? It's like, you know, do not fear, right? Mm -hmm. But what I want to show us really is if you look at the part of where the angel appeared to 
um, I think when he appeared to Mary, he said he, she has been favored of the Lord, right? But another place, um, if you read, yes, highly favored. So the angel came unto her and, and said, this is where, what I'm looking for. Hail, thou art highly, highly favored. So she's highly esteemed. He said, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. So this is, you know, this is absolutely a work of mercy. Yes, sir. You might look at it and say, oh, you know, we we, we, that we are very religious and very quick to judge. You know, somebody like me that you are always like, you know, this person should just be, you know, should be straight, you should be straight, you should be straight. You get what I'm trying to say, you know. Yes, we sir. are always after... Hey, you be straight. Hey, you be straight. There are some people like that. Every smart is be straight, be straight, be straight. Everybody is not straight except for, <laughs> or you know, you just want everybody to be straight around you. Hey, don't do the ah, blah, blah, blah. you know that kind of thing. Yes, sir. But that's not how it works. You know what I'm seeing. My spirit is, and I'm not saying people should not tell people straight. Well, but I'm just saying what I know. Right. Yes. He said. He said the Lord. So the Lord is with thee. You see, this kind of fellow, right? I believe that they've been trailing Mary from birth. Yes, sir. Yes, I believe. It's not sheer will. I uh, Mary is. Besides, where they gave birth to Mary, the house they gave birth to her, the way to people they put around her, angels oh, must have been. You don't know what it means that hail. They hailed that. See, when the angel landed, eh? shows that this lady is the work of God to that point. Yes, sir. Right. She's a work. Right. Yes. You don't know what it means to an angel to tell you that you are highly favored. Hmm. Do you think uh, it's just one day? Is, do you think because I didn't know other virgins in now. Uh, virgins <laughs> in now. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you understand? There, yes, there would be so many of them. Yes, sir. Right, he said, but the Lord is with thee. In this one, he said, Lord, gone, gone. <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Blessed are thou amongst women. The blessed are thou amongst women. Right. When the yes, angel sir. appeared in the book of Judges 6, verse 12, to um, what was his name? Uh, Gideon. Yes. said something similar. He used the word, he said, the Lord is with thee also. Right. He said, read it. The, the, and the angel of the Lord appeared. Of the him. Lord. You see that? The Lord appeared unto him. And, and said unto him, unto the him. Lord is with thee, is thou with thee. and of valor. So there is a way they know him in the spirit. So what makes him a mighty man of valor is some kind of thing. Because immediately afterwards, Gideon began, he said, and Gideon said unto him, oh my Lord, if the Lord is with me. He said, why then is all this befalling us? Mm. Do you see that? <laughs> yes, sir. So, so he doesn't know. He cannot see it. He doesn't have... You get what I'm trying to say? So for him, he's wretched. He's yes. poor. There is nothing. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. But you, so there's a way this man is. He said, and he said, he said, and where be all his miracles, which our fathers told us of, saying, did not the Lord bring uh, us up from, up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midian. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might. You see, what makes him mighty <laughs> is the fact that he doesn't see any power in himself. Yeah. Yes, sir. You see, that thing is a work. Uh. Jesus. You might be looking at it, this one, no get faith. This one, no, stop it. There, hmm. there are some things sometimes when you see some people and then you just quickly jump into the computer. You understand me when I just said to that man, this just move. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> These are God's people. Yes, sir. Right. And the Lord said to him, say, go in this thy might. He said, and thou shalt save Israel. From the end of the the mid that night, right? What's Are you up? following me? The guy is still the doubt. Oh. <laughs> the people are dying just see they talk that. Thing. 
<laughs> but this doubt is not the doubt of 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 Thomas. Yes. Is a heart. Is a spirit. This one is different. It's not doubt. It's actually faith. <laughs> but we might see it as you know from conversational reasoning. Like right? yes. he's reasoning it. No, God mm. has worked something in him, and that is what God needs mm. to be able to walk. Because God knows that this kind of person will always inquire. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> right. He will not be able to do anything in his own strength. Because he didn't even have one. Uh, you understand? These are the people that will quickly tell God that God, you know that when we started this conversation, you know I know yeah, I don't have any power. You know, I told you, if you don't show up now, <laughs> it will kill all of us. You understand? So this is the kind of heart that yes, God revives. Sir. Yes, sir. Right in that order. I'm not talking about the order of. Maybe you are standing before demons and all of that. But in the order of salvation, in the order yes. of our part in the spirit, right? Yes, sir. You understand? So it's a state of heart that we must all come. They call it faithful heart, right? Yes, sir. You see, Jesus to go to that point now. Yes, sir. Whereby he was like, you know, ah, if it is possible. <laughs> You see that if it is possible, God see might. <laughs> Aliga, did you understand that? That thing that Jesus was doing that night and crying, and God is seeing power. Yes, sir. Do you understand? God is seeing somebody that is humble, <laughs> pure humility. You see, the whole level was standing. <laughs> that thing Jesus was doing, everyone was shaking. Right? <laughs> they were looking, Every all the angels are looking at God. God, give us command. Hey, your Lord. <laughs> With this thing that this guy is doing, he's shaking everybody. That's why others couldn't see. Four bees cannot see. Everybody is, is, is that thing, that thing called Ombu. He said, he said, do I have the eye and the lofty God? You see the way he called himself. He said, but you see those Ombu guy, contract guy, and they, and they like to dwell with them. <laughs> You understand? So that thing Jesus was doing at that time, he said, with him also, that is of a contrite spirit. So that thing is, is uh, the whole heaven is shouting, revival, revival, revival. <laughs> as in, as, wow. <laughs> at that point. Yes, but you sir. know, a lot of times we used to see humility as something, maybe I'm on a disadvantaged level. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you see that angel still came. But the instruction they gave the angel is to go and strengthen him. Yes, the sir. angel came down, then came to strengthen Jesus. Yes, sir. And Jesus stood in his might. That was what they did to Gideon too. <laughs> and go and face the enemy. So Jesus was ready to face the enemy. The first thing was that when they came, when the enemy came to pick him by Satan, using the Roman soldiers, Right. When they came to pick him, the first thing was that somebody that doesn't understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit, remove sword, cut somebody's ear. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, sir. So, 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 you know, that one just took power into his hands straight. Baba, let's, let's scatter this place. Let's, let's cut people. They are shy anybody. You know, those kind of, you know, <laughs> let's pursue them. Do you understand? But you see that thing. Is a, a share wheel that cannot last. Yes, right. Sir. In another two, three hours, the guy started denying Jesus everywhere. It's just, <laughs> just messing up things. So it's not this place, this dimension that we are talking about, it's not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. If God doesn't work that contriteness in our spirit, there is an attitude of this. I'm still talking about that thing is coming back again. Right. So you yes. can see that, you know. That thing, that, that guy, that thing, you see, that thing that we do. Ah, we go, we go, we go rough farm. This, uh, this believers convention or some. I will listen <laughs> to all the message. No, Baba, calm down. Aye, Jesus. Calm, calm down. Tell God to help you. Hi, hi, hi. Do you understand? Tell God to walk it in you. Tell oh, God no. that, you know, I, I, I need help. I just need you to help me to be able to, to stay under your, you know, under your presence. And not feel that, you know, not feel, not feel hasty to come out. Let me see it as a comfortable place. Let, 
So that that's when heaven now. So yeah, revival, revival, you know, and hey, lay on book. You understand? Yes, sir. These are the people that we can't help. Thank you, Lord. Jesus are shouting for help, 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 help. You know, somebody that just feel like religious soul. That you know, sometimes some people will even sit down and be listening to reverence and say, I understand what I can get. You know, somebody has said this, somebody have mentioned it before that. You see, you see me, I used to understand Reverend, but you know, when Pastor Jeff's talk, I don't really understand him. Ah! I said to that fellow, <laughs> I said, You don't understand anything. I'm not telling the person, I didn't say it, I was saying it to my heart. I say, Okay, ah, nice, nice, nice. But if it's somebody that I can talk to very well, I'll tell you very honestly, I was telling that person, this person doesn't understand more. If you can't understand Pastor Jeff, whom you see, Reverend, that you cannot see. <laughs> <laughs> right. the, the, law, the, law in the, the first thing he says is the final is the, <laughs> is the last thing right and it can take four hours to say the, the first thing at the last my brother forget that thing <laughs> let's be coming down yes sir. You know, we need help right we need help so much help that uh, God will beat into us attitude of life, of the spirit. Amen. You know, can we just begin to pray? I just feel we should just spend some few time to pray. You know, the Lord has spoken to us so much you know, around this attitude of the spirit. But um, before we go into, so I'll just quickly run through these spirits use us in anointing or wrong spirit. Maybe I should not even rush it because something might open up there. But let's let me leave it and then we'll continue next time. I want us to pray, you know, because I, I want us to pray. I want us to spend like 10, 15 minutes Come to on, pray, to really pray for ourselves. You know, that heaven will, will bring us to this place, to these things. If heaven is showing us these things, then mercy. In that mercy. You know, is a is a messy allocation in the spirit concerning our company here in Canada. I want us to be in a prayer that Jesus will deal with us according to this mercy. The Bible so call it according to his tender mercies and his loving kindness. Adima Shanada Barande Gosas Sumata Fanipa Parato Fenika Sasamba. Can we pray? Can we pray? Anywhere you are, whatever you are doing, either you are watching, you are watching, you are. Anything you are doing, Friends make sure you are praying. And make believe. sure you are connecting. Make sure. Because Holy these God. things will not go except by God. prayers. God. I want us to pray uh, by fasting. Bible call it by fasting and by prayers. There are some deafness in the spirit that will never go. There are some, you know, there are some... There are some lusts that the enemy has worked that will not go except we pray, except we fast, except we cry. We pray, oh God, Edima, Sasima, Jade, Foloka, and Jada. Let our soul, let your soul cry tonight. My soul is wretched, oh God. I am wretched. I am poor. I am needy. My father, I am poor and needy. I want to be a better person. I want to be a better me in the spirit. I want to go further with you, my father. I want to go further with you. And the marshal and the Jedomakosa Sempa and Janita Parota. A Jajana Gatoveneda, a Jajadena de Madovane, a Jajano Venede, a Santo Topelete, a Shashanota, a Sheshenekete, a Balando, a Janati, a Sasamo, a Tove. Inja to ve, inja to ve ve, anje tibanate, asesiman chochata, e parano seseno, e shashento fenita, em paruta, em perina, enjo domo, enjo domo, enjo demina, enjo demina, enjo demina, enjo demina, enjo demina, agano se se, agina tose, agina tose, agani se santo, e chante te se, e amasano, e amaso se miato fane sa samokasha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Maybe we cannot, maybe just to help us to, like, let me put more incense so for to stir us in prayer. 
you know, can you give me that Luke 1, 28, where the Bible was talking about Mary? Right. Um, let's see it. So that we can use it to, to incense, right? So he said what? He said, an angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art, art highly favored. So when people are favored of the Lord, the Lord would, there is a way that the Lord would tailor their life, right? He would arrange their life according to his loving kindness and according to his tender mercies. Right, so there will be mercy around that fellow. That's right, so bring that fellow to the place whereby they are truly blessed. <laughs> you know, they are truly blessed, right? And that the Lord, whom will save the whole world, will come through them. Like their salvation will be battered from within them. I want us to pray. You know that that you know in this season that these things are coming to us. Talking about spirits. You know, spirit, soul, and body, and then attitude of the spirit. This lady, the, the, the thing that God saw is beyond the virginity of the physical, which is important to, to bring in for the holy child of God. But also, they saw the virginity of our heart, right? I want us to pray for ourselves that the Lord will favor us, you know, in this season, you know, with the blessing of contriteness, right, and wow. of a broken spirit, that it will be something that we would, we would, we would, we would be able to assume. Lord, as Lord. we come to that place in this season, can we pray for ourselves that you know the Lord would deal with us with this favor, Amen. in the name of Jesus, by His mercy, by the Spirit of God. And we pray, Atani Gajanja, Madamba, Lababa, Bagana, so that we too can be called highly favored of the Lord. That in the name of Jesus, I pray tonight, O oh God, that you would deal with us according to your tender mercies and according to your loving kindness. You will favor us, O oh God. Even as you have favored us, you will yet favor us. You will yet favor us. Lanika Shante. Ejanate Venusa Samanjata, and let us also cry for help, help to be humble, to be truly, truly humble. The humility that comes from the heart. In the name of Jesus. Atena Gijana Masosome Antifa, Epa Baba Baba Bayota, Epa Baba Baba Bayota, Epa Babaya Namayoteke, Echemeke Asa Sama Tofana, that we too will be like Gideon. We to be like Jesus Christ, our uh -huh. Lord, who be like Caleb, even in the seasons whereby the Bible says they have another spirit that will be full of faith, um, uh, yes. a spirit that is full of faith. In the name of Jesus, Alenje Besa Sabolonja Danda Ganda Masha. I'm sure are we pray. Let's pray tonight at Titi Timanto, the Paronte Banashi. Anganosh, 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 E parano je jenta bala gata masho danto fana kaso sama tofa e jaja da baleda e bala baluba e jana mana baluda e shashuma tamosa e paranto fina e paranto fina e parante e paranta mo e karina mashota e karina masosoma e karina ma e jano sana e shanate ma e forona masusumante te. Aina no no mo, e yani na 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 nanto, e yani na 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 manto, e yani ma na ma nanto, e yani ma 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 manto, e yani ma to ma na na manto, e shashana ma to ma nanto, e shashina anto fananto, e shasheni kiti fananta, e fanati ata na ata na ata na ata na ata na ata na ata, e ta na ata na ata na ata na ata na ata, e ta na to na ata na ata na ata, e ta na to na ata na ata na ata, e ta na to ni ata na ata na ata, e ya na to. Ya na te 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 te
in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And lastly, Amen. I want us to pray that this season of convention that we will receive so much help. You know, that the Lord will help every one of us, that everyone will be visited, right? We would receive visitation of the Lord. Can we pray? Lastly, that the heaven will visit us in this season of convention, that none of us will be without visitation. None of us will be without testimony, but the Lord will give us his testament, even in this season. But in the name of Jesus, we pray. Are we praying? Are we praying that, Lord, we cannot... You heard what, you heard what Paul said. He said, that also I might apprehend. You know, if, if I don't apprehend, he said, not like as if I, I'm, I'm, I'm perfect already, because I'm not, right? I still want to attain. I want us to pray for ourselves that we too, like Paul, we are coming before the Lord tonight. That Lord, this same heart, that you walk in our parents, that you walk in our apostles. Lord, you will walk it in us, oh God. That Lord, in the name of Jesus, that we will follow after, we would apprehend, even as we have been apprehended of our Lord Jesus Christ. That the Lord will perfect us, oh God. The Lord will do a walk, a walk that we would know ourselves that something has been done. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. The guy I know. Praise Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Thank In you, Jesus' Lord. name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Can we just thank Jesus tonight. Can we give him praise? Can we thank him? Can we thank him for well, our time was well spent? Can we thank him for the mercy that he brought to us? Can we thank him for all the words that he spoke over us, that all these words will not go without fulfilling that which God has sent it to accomplish, to fulfill. That Lord, it would it will be it will be it will, it will be done in our lives. All that you have said to us today, it will be it will become amen. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you, our God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.